for this is Brinks. He's a six-year-old yellow Labrador retriever. Weighing in at 92 pounds and true to his breed, let's just say Brinks can be a little destructive. You know, he would dig holes in the backyard and steal food off the counter. And uh, he actually pulled a four-foot uh, hibiscus tree out of, the, out of the ground that I had just planted and was running around with it in the backyards. Paul Amelchenko wouldn't trade his buddy for the world, even when the six-year-old lab wanted to redesign the Amelchenko cell phone. And you can see the beautiful web pattern that it made and the, uh, the colorful starburst pattern that he was able to create here. And he removed part of the antenna. That's a nice piece. He created this piece in about a minute. So where did Brinks come from? Well, he was adopted from the Humane Society of Broward County, where he was given a second chance and a new life as an artist. Proving that art is in the cold, wet nose of the beholder? Really? Slobbering up the glass. He had his face right up against the glass, right? Remember that? And, uh, and as I got up, you know, we had finished breakfast, and I got up, and, and the slobber on the glass actually resembled an abstract contemporary art painting. Wouldn't you know, this gentle giant got a book deal. The Da Vinci Dog, Passion, Paintings, and Slobber of Brinks the Dog. His agent and author says inspirations are everywhere, starting with the backyard. This is a piece on reductionism. Emelchenko's French doors. This is a 9 by 12 slobber on glass also. And even my notebook. Paul, what does he have? He has your notepad, Jim. <laughs> I apologize about that. And no apologies from this big guy, but it's okay. Emelchenko says it's all in the name of art. In Deerfield Beach, Jim Robinson, CBS4 News.